What up, my little cubers? We're back for another draft here on the streets of Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmont for all of your magic card needs. We've got another chromatic cube ahead of us. As I'm trying to stockpile some videos up since I'll be gone for a while. So again, as I said on a previous video, if you see this during Lord of the Rings, I'm sorry. It is not available to draft until later this morning. So couldn't get a lot of those pre-recorded. Anyways, pick one, pack one here. I have a couple of nice cards, but I think I have a very easy pick for me. I always say this, the commands are insane, whether it be Kolagons, Prismari, Silumgars. These cards are just so, so strong in cube. In cube, you want to be generally, or at least I want to be generally taking cards that have at least two for one potential, if not more. Um... And yeah, Kologons is fantastic. So many artifacts, so many small creatures to kill. What's not to love? Similarly, what is not to love about this pack? I see a bunch of good blue cards and a Maze Mind Tome. What do I want to take here? Probably Epiphany. It's just so demoralizing. So is Holebreaker Horror, but I think that's more likely to wheel. Um, I really would like the Tome and the Electrolyze too, but this is a great pack. We're going to go with the Epiphany just for overall raw power level. Breach the Multiverse is also quite good. I'm kind of tired of casting Breach, though. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? We have like an Electro Dominance that can be really nice. Can be a finisher, can be a way to kill a creature and get some extra value. Snowborn Simulacra is extremely fun as well. It's just extremely slow. But if you have the means to ramp this out, this card can do some really good work. Generally, I think this is a win more than anything else, but it's a fun one for sure. Um, Baron's okay to Davriel's okay. What are the conditions that you have with this guy again? There are a lot. They're not bad. You know what? I'm going to try taking Davriel. It's a Planeswalker after all. Now we're going to follow that up with a chart, of course. Best card in the pack is probably Llanowar Elf. But chart draw some cards, and I like drawing cards. I'll take the Skyclave Relic now. Yeah, green might be open. It's okay. I don't remember if it was yesterday's video or whenever I ended up uploading it, but we had a debacle of... A green deck because I didn't take the good cards. That is to say, I didn't take blue cards. Ooh, treasure map, guardian idol. Yes, yes, yes. Sanctuary Warden's also very, very good. But both of these artifacts are clutch for me. Uh, I'm going to take the ramp, the two mana ramp, instead of the map. I still love map, but it just keeps going down and down, in my opinion. It's just so slow. This is more of a pet card for me than a good card, whereas Idol, I think, is great. Siphon Insight's okay. Terra Sunder's okay. Some more green stuff otherwise. Now, this is just a classic Grixis Nummy start. I haven't taken a land yet, but... I guess we haven't really seen any good lands, except I think in our initial pick, right? There might have been a red-black land in the... In the command pack. It's about 5 a.m. right now, so apologies if I have a little bit of morning voice. The sultry, dulcet tones of, mm, yeah, morning voice. All right, Blight, wait, uh, Blight Step Pathway is a good one. A little bit of fixing for black and red. Temple of Abandoned Champ. Oh, Champion of Wits is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just something to do early. Filters your draws. Sometimes in these controly decks that I build, if you fall behind too quickly and don't have like a burn down the house, you can't really come back. I wish I would show you what the conditions are for Davriel. I can't like click on it for some reason and show you all the conditions. I know one is like 
draw cards and your cards cost more. Perpetually give something minus X minus X and do something else. But got the tome back, that's good. Reality chip the pass, but I don't think I'm going to have enough creatures to reliably equip the reality chip. Looks like Vincent. Didn't actually pick up a win con this pack. Not that you need too many win cons, you generally can just grind your opponent out. Maybe I can wield that Electro Dominance. Mm, I'd rather have Crackle though. Crackle with power over Electro Dominance. We're gonna get one of those big burn spells. Alright, a bunch of garbage on the wheel. Never playing this, right? Don't think so. In theory, no, because we have double blue and double black already. Alright, bunch of garbage coming back. Which I guess is to be expected the last four picks, but usually you get something. Alright, pack two. Into Field of the Dead, huh? Probably are not going to be able to take that here. I mean, I could. I guess it's only the beginning of pack two. But I'd much rather just take, like, Star of Extinction or even Zagoth Triome. Dismiss also good, but that should wheel. Yeah, let's take the star. This is one of those unique effects that can really get you out from behind. Admittedly, seven mana is... a bit... But I'm generally taking the ramp effects anyways, right? I already have Guardian Idol, Skyclave Relic. I'll find more ways to ramp. Cruelty of Gix. Love that card. But we have two pieces of that ramp I was talking about. Both Cold Steel Heart and Chromatic Lantern. The two mana accelerants are much more important, in my opinion, than the three mana accelerants, although Lantern is a good one. So I think I gotta go with the Cold Steel Heart here. Yeah, I'm not expecting the Wheel Cruelty or Lantern, but that would be a bonus if they did. It's been a while since I got an Oracle of the Alpha. Let's see if we can... Do that. It's going to take Oracle of the Alpha over anything if we see it. Um. Alright, some more nice ones here. Notably, we have Scholar when we already... Or there's a Scholar when we already have Sublime Epiphany. Sky Sovereign's really, really good. Though, again, I don't have much to crew. Ashiok Nightmare Muse is quite solid. I actually hate scriptures. Because when you need a wrath effect in a deck like this, you need it now. You can't wait a turn. Let's go with Scholar. That'll be a decent enough win con. Start. Man, very nice pack again, and I think I have to just take land. Cut the ribbons, Eldest Reborn, Thief, Dream Eater. Yeah. The smart pick's got to be the land, as much as I hate to do it. I'm going to take Consider here over Bankbuster, I think. I like Bankbuster, but it's also pretty slow. Already have the uh, Maze Mind Tome anyways. Into the Royals, fantastic. So another one of those early game interactive spells that can just buy you a lot of time in a deck like this. Sea Double. I don't actually think this card is all that impressive in cube. It's okay. 
Sadly, we have no lands here for us. There's a settle the score I could take. I'm also not keen on that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we try out C-double this time. I'd rather have the four-mana counters than a card like this, but... Oh well. Easy Spire Bluff Canal over Commence the Endgame. Even though this one doesn't always enter untapped. In fact, probably will frequently enter tapped. Okay, Field of the Dead did wheel. We can take it here since there's nothing else. I would probably need to double the number of non-basic land, non lands I have right now to warrant playing field. Which isn't impossible, but that means I'd be t needing to take quite a few lands in pack three, and I actually need to qu take quite a few spells here. I don't actually mind Surgical Metamorph. Um, it can copy lands, because this can copy permanents, whereas like Phyrexian Metamorph and stuff don't. And there's the scriptures, there's the boat. Again, I don't think either of these are what we want. Maybe I play the Sky Sovereign. Great Shark, once again, just like, okay. Legitimately would rather just have joint exploration here. I don't doubt I was supposed to take the Shark, but... Yeah, pack 2 I don't think was very good for us. We're really going to need pack 3 to give us the goodies. Like I might have to run a card like Illyrios. Looting is not terrible. Alright, pack 3 we go. What are our choices? We have a red-blue land. We have a commit to memory. We have a fight with fire. Let's see, I'm at 17 cards right now. I mean, every land I take is just going to make Field of the Dead more playable, so I probably end up doing that here. Oof, another pretty bad pack. Liliana's not really intended for us. Spell Thief is like okay and probably my choice. Mana Confluence, I don't think we want to be running a land like this. We're not playing Banner. Wow. Really, really weak pack. Yeah, I guess it's a Spell Thief. Hmm. Gonna need to find like Nickel Bolas or something. Just one win con and then a few more fixers. A little bit more interaction would be good too. The nice thing is, even a quote unquote bad Grixis deck, as we get a really good pack here, is still better than the average other deck, I think. Man, oh. They've shoved everything I want into one pack. I want the Teferi, I want the Atris, I want the Silvangar's Command, and I want the Cultivator Caravan. I think this is between Teferi and Command for me. I think I'm going to go with the Teferi. Planeswalker just does a little bit too much work. There's a Fetid Pools, absolutely. Passing a Relic of Legends, I guess. That's whatever. Could take Jin Gataxius for another win con. I don't think it's a good one in our deck currently, though. Sulfur Falls. Wrathish Effect. Urtai is actually great, too. Once again, I'm just supposed to take land here. 
It gives us, what, seven lands towards Field of the Dead, so with three basics, we'd have ten different types. Snapcaster Mage is great. Smashing would be okay. Proving ground, uh, proving ground for Red Black would also be okay. Invasion of New Phyrexia. Or Sorin actually could be another really solid win con. Actually, I like taking the Planeswalker here. Let's pick seven. Nice. Oh, that Blood Crypt was so good. Prosper would probably be all right as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I don't need too many more playables. We've hit that eight land mark, that threshold that I was talking about. We might even wheel a land or two, which would again be so, so good. That is a complete brick. I suppose if I'm splashing Sorin, I could splash the Fortel on the Starnheim too, but seems unlikely. That's another complete brick, Jesus. Okay. Oh, well, okay, we will the Silmgar Silmgar's command out of this pack. Oh man, that pathway is so good too. Blue white. commands a little bit too good plus I still need a playable or two slightly scrapping for playables but we'll end up with a deck you know what I might even play the Ori in an ideal world we get one more good land that is not it. I could still run the Temple of Malady, though. If I wanted, just for Field of the Dead purposes, like a tapped Black Source that scries is not crazy bad. Just kind of bad. You know, I mean, my man is not too, too poor here, right? Basically, we're just heavy, heavy blue with splash black, red, white. Wish I had like one more piece of acceleration though, because I do have quite a big top end. Ah, Chromatic Ori is not right in this deck. What am I talking about? It's probably better just to run like an Illyrios. Or even, even running 18 lands, I don't think is out of the question. In fact, let's cut the Illyrios and let's just run 18 lands. And if I'm running 18, I don't think I mind running a one of planes. It also helps our field of the dead, you know? Six red, six black, nine blue. Ten blue. I guess we'll go up one more black source since we have double black on Davriel. All right, that's not too shabby. 18 lands. Okay. Definitely on the weaker end of uh, Grixis decks I've drafted in this cube, but... Hopefully we can still do some work. I, my little, my concern is that we're a little bit lacking in early interaction, like just having an extra upgrade or something. All right, great opening hand. Just gonna lead with Field of the Dead here.
black red let's consider end of turn sadly cannot keep that we're gonna want to go red here and then we can snap caster the consider and then play out a teferi Guardian Idol. I don't think we want that right now either. Very loot. I don't think we want Relic. It's okay if they attack to Fairy for two. Remember, Teferi can be activated on the opponent's turn as well. Ooh, Fire Mine Vessel. That's a nice one. Time to improvise. Um, I guess I don't need Blood Crypt. Well, getting rid of Blood Crypt means I don't have double black, so I guess I'm supposed to discard Sulfur Falls here. Loot again. Okay, that's good. There's slight temptation here to have just bounced their fire mine vessel before they get to untap, but I'm going to get a little bit greedy and let them cast something this turn. Rowl's Outburst. Discard Tapland. Go for counter and bounce on the vessel. And with the planes, that's six towards Field of the Dead, so. All right, let's loot. Hmm. Do I even want the Metamorph anymore? Do I even need the Star of Extinction? I think it's always just safe to have the star. I guess we can discard Temple. Let's go ahead and go for the conditions here. Conjure a card named Manor Guardian into your hand. I don't even remember what that does. You get an emblem with Davriel Planeswalkers you control have plus two draw a card. You get an emblem whenever you draw a card you gain two life. Oh, okay. Well, let's do the plus two draw a card. And I'm going to lose six life. Seems good. I'm going to leave back the Snapcaster to Chump, but I can also phase it, uh, the Circuit Mender, out with Teferi if I want to. Oh, they're attacking the Teferi instead. Oh, well, in that case, I'm not going to Chump. Burn down the house. All right, fair enough. Um, guess we just need more blue here. Not gonna counter or not gonna copy that. Also, not gonna copy that. No, I mean, this is nice that we have Field of the Dead. Every land at this point is just a little bit more pressure, but we are behind. 
Ashiok Nightmare. Mm, okay, I'll make a copy of Ashiok. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Wow, two lands got exiled. I'm going to bounce Ashiok and make them exile a card from their hand. What do we still have in our deck? We have Epiphany, Scholar, um, Thorin. Siphon Insight's probably a, a really solid draw, actually. And we're keeping the land in our hand in case they Ashiok and bounce, make me discard something. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's Bolas. And they made me exile my star. That might do her. That might do her indeed. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed in our deck. I guess they're just going to block, block, and trade. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm running 18 lands, so we have three lands left in our deck. They hit my Epiphany. Well, I have to cast it this turn at least, so it's not that bad. Um, so our out is like... Oh wait, Scholar can't hit Star of Extinction because it's exiled. Star of Extinction on Silumgar's command, then. Oh, or now, yes. Scholar onto Epiphany onto Recopy Scholar. Oh, they have temp Karn's Temporal Sundering. Okay. Yeah, so... This is like a mirror match where they have they have worse early game than me, but their top end is so much better, it seems like. And since I couldn't apply early pressure, they just had so much time. We're still not out of this. Scholar off the top, and I think we have a chance. Okay. So they can shoot me for seven. They're going with the exile from hand. I guess we can just copy their creature in response. That's fine. We need them to not exile Scholar here. Chart of course and land. All right. Again, Scholar off the top, and I think we have a chance. Oh, they have a Nashi? They got a Ninjutsu? Oh, wait. I don't know why they're doing this. Oh, they have Crackle for 10?
I guess they just have a counter. Sure. I'm not dead though. I'm at one here. Hopefully they just shoot me for seven now. Uh, nope. They still didn't mill my scholar. It's one of the last four cards. There it goes. Now they hit it. Well. Yeah, not much to say there. Not much to say. What did I do wrong that game? Maybe Silumgar's command was the wrong uh, at the wrong time. Just protect my planeswalker better. Well, this hand's pretty good. Turn two heart. We really want to find a third land so I can go turn two heart into turn three tome plus immediately draw a card. Nice. Perfect. We'll name blue here. Another blue red deck. All right, this hand's great. Feeling very Gucci about this one. Shatter Skull smashing. Let's just keep looking for lands. Excellent. Uh-oh. Do they have Mizzix as mastery? Wouldn't even be that bad, I guess, if they... Mizix to this turn. Big score. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do here is draw, and then if we don't hit a land, I'm going to upkeep Scry. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah. Perfect. Found the sixth land just in the nick of time. I have to counter that. Or at the very least, attempt to counter it. That's fine. Today's forecast is cloudy with a high chance of rain. This ought to be good. I might just end the royal the row here. I guess starve extinction this turn's also really good. Yeah, let's starve extinction their one white source. Set him back quite a bit. And they know I'm drawing Epiphany next turn. Discarding a bunch of burn spells, probably a good choice. Yeah, so now we just draw and pass.
if they pass back, we get to finalize our tome. I'll probably just flash out the spell thief here as well. I don't think that's a bad play. Just get some pressure on the board. Also A-OK -okay if they want to kill it. Smoldering egg, you can have it. So let's go like this. Make them discard. Shoot the egg. Then we can Snapcaster the Kolagons. Oh, did Auto Tapper get me there? Oh my gosh, it did. I think Auto Tapper might have gotten me there. Whoopsies. Okay, well, that's awkward. They have commit in their graveyard, so I probably have to hold the epiphany for that. Yeah. And I can counter the smoldering egg trigger too, that's funny. Um, two cards in hand. That's probably fine. I don't know. I could run out the Scholar there. I don't think I need to. Back in for two. Do the plus one and... I'll lose a life for each creature I control every turn, that's fine. Mizix's Mastery! Okay. Um, well. This is gonna be painful for them. Because we get to Epiphany. Targeting their Mizixes. This is a lot of Snapcaster Mages. Uh, they have one card in their hand. Discard, two damage. I mean, we don't even need to do any of this. Uh, C-double cannot be copied, so it doesn't work with Mizixes, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll try. I don't even know what's going on here. Target a creature. I don't think that works, but... We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Oh, I guess... I guess it does work? Well, okay then. That's a thing. 
Five, five Snapcaster mages. Well, it says Sea Devil cannot be copied. And Mizix's mastery specifies you're copying the spell, so. Oh, oh wait. Maybe it's a different type of copy. You can't copy Sea Devil when it's on the stack, but you can copy. But Mizix is exiles the card and then copies it, so I guess that's a different type of copy effect. In any case, that finale was insane. All right, good opening hand here. Soren's a little bit out of place, but if nothing else, we have a two drop, three drop. And our opponent is on red-green, so can assume the beats are ahead of us. We have to try to fade the Minsk and Boo. That is public enemy number one, Rada. I think just to keep the board clear, we're going to bounce here. Plus, I can snap cast or bounce it later on. We don't need Island. I'm probably going to discard Soren. Soren a little bit out of place. Well, they played their land first. They're not playing Rada. They're going to go the Vessel. Very nice. Oh, that's an easy... Wait, why does this cost three? Oh, I wasn't the starting player. That's cool. Let's copy their vessel. Alright. They've got seven mana. Ren and seven, sure. Make a big tree folk doo doo. Alright, five five tree folk inbound. Uh we just have a really good turn here, right? Snapcaster into the royal, the token, draw card, kill Ren. Don't need to fire off my star of extinction quite yet. Man, I wish I'd kept Soren, knowing that they were gonna play a vessel. <laughs> Would have given me the uh, sources I needed. Circuit mender. What? Sure. Ooh, that's a good draw. Uh, let's go land pass. Or one more land type away from Field of the Dead starting to make zombies. So Vala. I don't think I care about that. Add some mana, yada yada yada. Like the more creatures they play, the better Star of Extinction becomes, so. I don't want to bounce my Snapcaster Mage <sighs> with Sublime Epiphany, but I think it might be better to bounce their Firemind Vessel here. Oh, you know what I can do? I can go green, blue, and one. Right? Joint Exploration. Put the land on the battlefield, then Epiphany. 
Target a non-land permanent. Two, four, six, eight, nine mana. So yeah, let's just bounce the vessel for the turn. Copy the champion. Uh, I guess we just discard lands. Oh, didn't expect them to attack. That's fine. I'm planning on using Star of Extinction on their only green source next turn, so... Oh, they found one off the top right. So we attack for two. The star on the thicket. Get a zombie. Pass. I'm going to hold up Kolagon's command. I could have charted a course there and drawn two without discarding, but I think this is okay. And then we can just Kolagon's end of turn our Snapcaster back. In addition to maybe... I mean, if they just replay the vessel, we'll kill that, but otherwise we'll make them, like, discard a card or whatever. Titania's Command. They get to exile my graveyard. Whoa, that's bad. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to go like this then. I'm going to return my Champion of Wits to my hand. And make them discard a card. And then what I can do is I can chart a course before attacking and eternal uh, discard my Champion of Wits and eternalize it immediately. Nice little combo there. The rare Exile Target Player's Graveyard. Alright, chart. Discard Champion. Champion. Draw four, discard two. Don't need that. Don't need that. Make a zombie. Attack for two. I mean, we're still in great shape. So. All right, let's take some good stuff off of their deck. This is all bad. In fact, I probably should have just taken the land there. What you got me for me, Davriel? These all kind of suck. I don't actually want to draw too many cards. We have no... Oops, we have no creature in our graveyard. I guess whenever I draw a card, I gain life? And then I'll just lose six? Sure. <laughs> I'll probably Scholar next turn. Do I want to copy Kogla? Uh, no, 
Let's just siphon them. Oh, there we go. Conscripts is good. It's fine. That's also great. Um... I need to get some better instants and sorceries in my graveyard here. But we have them on a pretty fast clock. Could I have killed them that turn? Could I have added 14 extra damage? Scholar, C double, copy it. I might have been able to actually... Kill them there. Uh, I don't want them to attack with the Kogla. Oh, they would have actually had to uh, sack a creature anyways. I wasn't even dead to that. All right, but now we could do some pretty funny stuff. We get to cast Scholar, and then with Scholar on the stack, C-double it. Copy their hoof. Hopefully they don't concede here. So we get to copy the C-double again. Oh, is this infinite? Oh, no, it exiles the second time, right? Yeah, that's good. Alright. And remember, Crater Hoof does not give haste to your other creatures. Well, didn't expect to win like that, but here we are. Yeah, so I might have been able to win the previous turn. Um... Did I have enough mana to zealous conscripts into Scholar plus C double? I might have if I untapped my Firemind Vessel, right? So this is like the ideal opening hand. Turn two mana rock. We have two commands in hand. A little bit of card selection. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Turn two Swarm Saboteur. We get to kill it, but that's extremely annoying. I guess that's not that bad. It only hits me once. I'm going to discard uh, Charter Course here, actually. And we can just go... Kill the artifact, shoot the Swarm. If we didn't have Kolagon's command, that would have been very bad, I guess I should have said. I think it's worth killing the beetle, because if I don't kill the beetle now, how much damage is it going to poke in for, right? Versus making him discard one card. That's actually really bad for us, too. It's a lot of card selection, but... So be it. I'm just going to Tome, draw a card, because if we draw a tap land... We want to be able to play that out, plus we already have one island, so. I have a feeling that uh, we're going to need to get to Star of Extinction rather quickly. In fact, I think I'm going to scry with the tome on upkeep and look for a land. 
Nice. Let's see, that's on red, so we want to go black here. Um... I guess the safe play would be to metamorph a land. And then if they re virus beetle. I guess I'm just gonna copy their blood crypt. Wait. Yeah, that seems fine. Into Teferi. Teferi would die. That would gain me six life. Probably should not have done... Probably shouldn't have shocked myself, actually. Yeah, that was a mistake. Well, on the bright side, though, they're pro probably going to put me on having, like, some counter in my hand. We're hoping that they replay the Swarm Saboteur and not the Virus Beetle, because I really don't want to have to discard any of these cards. I should be at 18 right now. <sighs> the one issue with this deck, the uh, the games go long since we don't win very quickly generally. I don't even think they drew a card there. I think they just made a treasure, didn't they? Alright, they did go with the beetle, dang it. I'm going to discard the Selimgars then. Just play one more creature or Irrelevant Planeswalker. Use your treasure. Play something irrelevant. Ammer on Luris. Okay, that's six life link. I like it. Cool. But also, gaining six there is really good for connections too. Because now they can choose all the modes again. Yeah. I probably should scry end of turn, I guess. Make sure I can gain the four life. Oh, and remember, I should be at frickin' nine. Well, that's on me. I messed up that game. Shouldn't have lost that one. We might have lost to Devil's Play down the road eventually, but should not have lost that turn. Yeesh. My fault, my fault. Shocked myself. I mean, if I had ended up playing Teferi too, they would have probably attacked it for six instead as well, so... A whole bunch of airs. Alright, on the draw, I'm going to keep this hand even though we have no black sources. Because we do have a turn 2 Guardian Idol. We might be playing like a 5 color deck. With a turn 2 Elf? What? Uh, let's go Idol here. I wanted to hold the pathway, but it's a little bit awkward if we do draw black source next turn. Well, I guess that's going to be slightly problematic, isn't it? Oh, never mind. It's fine. So, because I didn't cast anything, they cannot use the activated ability. And I guess if they attack, I can just C-double their Howler and trade. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. They can't Kenrith right now. They don't have white. Okay, this was fine. Cruelty of Gix. Well, I could also copy that. If 
I copy that, I can look at their hand, take something, and then even... Yeah, that seems better. Because I'm going to get mine off first. A Layla, huh? That's interesting. I will, oh, I wonder now if they're just going to steal the... Okay, I was going to say, maybe they just put the Kenrith onto the battlefield now. They did have that option. Kind of funny. Oh, this is a cool game of cube. Lots of things going on. Oh, they took Davriel. I guess that, that was my only, like, real castable. All right, now we get to Tudor. Let's see... Five mana this turn. Uh... What if I just grab Silumgar's command? And go like this. Set him back to the Stone Age. They might have to tutor for a land here, that's the funny thing. Tutor for a white source would be good, because then they could mythos my cruelty of Gix. Yeah, I think tutoring for a white source might be what they're supposed to do. Ah, they drew a lily, but why didn't they grab white? I'm going to get Kenrith here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. They reanimate. Okay. Um, it's still fine, right? Because now their cruelty does nothing. Can copy, let's see, bounce their Kenrith, copy my elf, draw a card. <laughs> Remember, Kenrith returns it to that owner's control. So, if I had had a creature in my graveyard, and they tried to reanimate it, it would have gone on my side. That's fine. They're in really bad shape here, right? Yeah, they are pretty damn screwed here, I would say. This is going to be a crazy funny turn. So bounce there. Reborn. Copy my scholar. Draw. Copy my scholar. Bounce their tap land plus their kill their lily. I'm done here. <laughs> uh, uh, year go. Dead on board. That was a pretty good turn. I think the opponent might rage quit. That's not rage quitting.
what? You're not going to concede? Alright. Go. Now, if they draw another land, they can add any colors, because the world tree will be active. Okay. So, one unknown card. Could be anything. Could even be an I win the game card. The cheese stands alone. You got me. Alright. Very dead. Yay! Scholar of the Lost Trove. With multiple copy effects. So clean, so spicy. A measly 3 and 2 right now with Grixis. Who am I? What have I become? I guess I punted at least one of the games away. And looks good. So, Crypt into Pathway on Blue. Champion of Wits hopefully going to do us some good work here, finding some business. Oof, opponent's on a big mulligan. To five, was it, looked like? Oh, I guess I'm actually going to go with Fetid Pools here instead. Shouldn't need to hold up Snapcaster or bounce this turn. Uh, okay. Gonna discard Scholar and Island. If need be, I can return the Scholar back to my hand with Colagons. That's a great draw, when the opponent's not doing anything. We're going to get double red with that. Oh yeah, Tome was one of our better draws in this scenario. Ah, this game's going to be short. Kind of a non-game. Yeah. Even drew the white source off the top for Soren. Uh, as if it was even necessary. I can do a little bit of scrying and set up with Soren, but it, I don't even think that matters. Sure. And just setting them back to the Stone Age. Oh, I guess I didn't real—I forgot to realize, anyways, that Temple of Malady actually helps kick our uh, joint expiration. So it's not just a random green source for no reason. It actually does a little bit. This game. Oh, they take seven! Okay, that's GG. Davriel, give that minus three, minus three, and then Colagons plus attack. Okay, not much of a game. Our opponent mulligan the five and clearly just had to keep that hand. It is what it is. It do be like that sometimes. How are we looking? Nice. All four colors. Easy money. Is that Zia Torres? Do we want to keep Chart, of course? 
Yeah, I probably should. And discard an extra island. No, I can't kill that. Not until they tap it, at least. Paradise Druid, the Bane. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, I think we probably have to kill the Somberwald Sage now instead. That one's a little bit more threatening. Okay. Probably just need to go look for Starve Extinction versus Red Green. Please don't have Minsk and Boo here. Oh, that was close! Yikes! Five mana Planeswalker. Not great. We play the tap land now. Oh, we might just lose this game. I guess I can siphon inside and hope to hit like a burn down the house off of their library or something, but... Oh no, they're adding mana. That's not good. I think I'm gonna scry on upkeep with Tome. Oh, maybe they just wanted to attack with Paradise? I can't even cast Star of Extinction next turn anyway, so let's siphon this turn. The bees! Can't cast that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm at I'm dead on board currently. It's hilarious. Alright. That's good. And let's see, I need to play one of these lands. Alright. Well, we're going to lose to a Crater Hoof or whatever, but... Hitting the clone there was obviously fantastic. Yeah, that's really bad, but... At least it's not extra pressure immediately, and they don't draw cards off of Luka, because that's non-token trigger. I mean, I get to Hornet Queen next turn if I don't hit Start of Extinction, so... Okay, that's fine. One card left in their hand. I mean, if it's a creature, they get to draw into another creature, sure. So it's going to turn into a 5-4. They get to draw two cards. Oh, that's right. Cure is going to trigger as well. Okay. It's really Starve Extinction or Bust, but I think I have another turn after this one. Sure. And we just need to soak up as much damage as we can, right? So block, block. Take five. Let them uh, draw another permanent or whatever creature or land. I kind of forgot Luca had the minus X ability. Oh, there's the hoof! Oh, God. Now it needs to be Star of Extinction. We get two looks. <laughs> that ain't it. How about the next one? Snapcaster? What does that do? Nothing. I guess this is just Siphon Insight and Concede. Alright, GG's. Well, uh, you live by the star, you die by the star. Eh, I still had a fine time. Our draw was fine. Okay, I'm not ex I'm not surprised we went 4-3. and three. Again, this was one of the weaker of the uh, Grixis decks I've ever drafted. I, def I mean, I punted one match away. Or at least, possibly. I died to the Devil's Play when I paid two life that I didn't need to, but this one was kind of weak overall, but as always, 
it was still a good time. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back next time.